Who let the cat out of the bag? Greetings, friends and fellow cigar boss, guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here, and welcome to the 2024 Southwest Cigar Box Guitar Festival wrap-up video. The entire festival was filled with these magical, these little magical moments. And, and my gosh, oh, if I could go back, man, I would capture more video, take more pictures, jam more. Uh, we had people from uh, Kansas, Colorado, Arizona, Texas, uh, Minnesota, Louisiana, New Mexico, uh, several local. Um, but guys, the, the, the amount of help that I got was tremendous. Oh my gosh, man. Um, my, my, my local buddy, Bo, showed up and helped me build a stage. My, uh, my, uh, my grandkids, other grandpa, Dennis Bishop, again, these guys helped help build the stage. Uh, Jeff Patterson came all the way from Green Valley, Arizona, showed up early and started cut, getting the, getting the, um, the shovel out and chopping weeds. <laughs> it's like, it's, uh, seriously, man, crowns in heaven are expanding and expanding, expanding. Uh, my buddy Jerome up brought some block for the stage. It was just a huge team effort. There's no way I could have pulled this off by myself. And a lot of the kids that, that actually work at the vineyard, uh, Eli, Noah, Jaden, they all, they all chipped in. Everybody was so, so helpful. It was, uh, it was incredible. Just the help and the prep alone was amazing. Seriously. Um, and of course, can't go without saying Dan Cravens, the CEO of San, San Isidore Vineyard. Same thing, man. Just, uh, um, so encouraging. So, tr so, so uh, supportive just to get, get, launch this thing and to provide the venue seriously um i have to do the shout out to my church back in portland oregon athey creek um we have we actually host um a live stream here at the local church here on wednesday nights and so i was asking them if they wouldn't uh if they would mind send, sending me some uh some merch and stuff like it next thing i get this huge old box full of t-shirts and mugs and flyers and um, just invite stuff. So, so we had a hospitality tent there with uh, free waters and a little booth to set up, you know, in, in the shade so that uh, people just wanted to get away, you know, maybe, uh, um, you know, pray or read a track or whatever. And, and um, just to encourage people, invite, invite people out to the watch party to hear uh, um, verse by verse, chapter by chapter, book by book. Um, as far as the lineup of musicians, I... It could not have been better. <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously. It's like, uh, what could have been better is I could have uh, utilized more of the people. Um, um, it was a little disorganized, you know, and I'll, I, I'll get into that here in just a little bit. Um, but, but I'm just kind of looking at, at, the, at the huge blessings and, and the highlights. Um, the, the, the lineup, in, in my opinion, was was incredible. I mean, it could not have been better. Um, we opened up with this with this gentleman named Hector Pena. He's a local guy here. And uh, he just saw our, our advertisement for the Cigar Box Guitar Festival. And so he just shows up and kind of introduces himself and, and shows us his instruments. And he's the guy with the uh, with the ironing board, lap steel and harmonica going into the distorted amp and um, an actual um, slide, guitar slide on the top, you know, so they do the, the lap steel stuff. And then his sidekick, the, the bass player guy, oh, and both of these guys have these huge old beers. I mean, they totally look the part. Uh, Hector Pe uh, Pena, you, you'll see the videos. Um, I, I'm posting kind of one at a time, kind of slow, guys. I, I do apologize because I got, um, I want to just uh, um, do as best I can to do the editing right, you know what I'm saying, which is not, you know, so much rocket science, but I don't want to mess it up either. Um, yeah, so we had this guy Hector Pena, my buddy Chad Barella, my uh, my son-in-law Dan Bishop, my high school buddy Gabby Torma, and uh, and uh, Jesse and his band Weatherman said, uh, my buddy Jerome from our thirty-year-old Bible study showed up with with the beatbox. So he was playing the the, um, the cajon. Um, we had a band called Holy Smoke, Stacy and KK. They were. Um, one of the bands early early on in in my uh in my my i want to say my childhood in my my 20s and 30s they were on the radio and stuff like that a band called holy smoke i'll put their link in the video description below they showed up um my grandkids other grandpa grandpa dennis the guy who helped with the stage 
So he's a singer, dude. So he jumps up and we do we do some some of the music that we do at church. We just did it right there in the Cigar Box Guitar Festival on a six string Cigar Box Guitar. And then there was Caden Finch. Him and his wife Sandy came all the way from Hereford, Texas. And Caden can play that Cigar Box Guitar. He, he was one of my builder's challenges um, as well. Uh, man, he could sing the phone book, seriously. So I'll put his link, CF Cigar Box Guitars in the video description. Uh, but some of the most, I would say, yeah, I shouldn't say this. I'm, I, I will say this. I will say this this way. Um, it started getting a little chaotic, and I'm like wondering, what, am, what the heck am I doing here? Um, so I, I had some dead space in between setups. You know, when the first, when the other band is tearing down, you're going to get the other band to get up. It's kind of that awkward dead space. My, my wife was chipping in with the music in the background, but it's just like, oh, my gosh, this would be a perfect opportunity to get some of these guys up here to start playing. Those were the moments. Oh, my gosh, get these guys together, man. And it's like and there was this one situation where uh, – Dave, Stogie Joe Dave, got up with uh, Kevin Hunts. Kevin Hunts was the guy who did the um, the um, uh, whiskey flask builders challenge, right? So these two guys, they said they're like, I'm not a player. I'm I'm not a uh, I'm a builder, not a player, right? And so, um, so then they plug into the amps and goes, they just start shredding, dude. And I'm just like, I'm just looking at these guys going, uh, you're you're a builder, not a player. Yeah, sure, man. That that was one of the highlights. Right there, man. The, the tones that were coming out of those instruments, the notes, the inspiration, that was that was a, one of those magical, magical moments. There were so, so many, so many of those. I, I wish I would have caught them. Um, as the night progressed, uh, we migrated down here to the workshop. And um, we, I, we had, I don't know, about, about a dozen people in, in here just kind of uh, looking around, snooping around, and... and uh, uh, Kind of interesting, you know what I'm saying? T taking taking pictures with a few. Oh my gosh, you guys! There's so many gifts exchanged back and forth, back and forth. Um, that that just right there just touched my heart, man. Seriously, people people were so generous, gi giving and and uh, it was like a giving contest, if you know what I mean. Um, and then we migrated down to the bonfire. And um, oh, one one of my kids' childhood friends. Now plays the harmonica, right? So he brings his harmonica. <laughs> Kyler Gale, dude. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. It's just like, my gosh, it's like. Um, so anyhow, down down at the campfire was another one of those magical moments where everybody pulls out their guitars and the fire is just right. You know what I'm saying? that the, the background noise is just, just right. And then just people just start playing and singing. And um, man, th there were no wrong notes no wrong notes all the beats were exactly right all the chords were exactly right all the melodies were exactly right all the words were exactly right there was it was like it was one of those kind of situations that, and uh so as the night progressed you know people decided what they're going to do camp um build a tent in the dark <laughs> down by the river um the mosquitoes the mosquitoes are pretty bad um uh, we we had some some uh, RV was was hooked up there. Uh, um, uh, my wife actually, bless her heart, dude, she opened up um, the tiny home. We call we call it the tiny home. It's like a little dollhouse with with electricity. Um, no facilities, not yet. We're gonna we're putting that in now. But uh, you know, um, it was just a blessing to have some, some a place for somebody to stay. You know. Um, but anyhow, so, so the, the the little jam that night, I got to thinking, man, it's like, man, this 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 little musical circle here would be perfect for the outro for the cigar box guitar song so i'm just trying to think man it's just like man let's let's go out with a bang let's go out with all these these songs right and um so the next morning we got up cooked some bacon and eggs and same thing we uh everybody got out their guitars and kind of um played some of the songs that we got some video footage of all, all of this stuff here uh, but in my mind, I'm like thinking, okay, man, well, let's play this song tonight. Oh, let's play this song tonight. Let's play. So, so we had like a little set worked up for, for the nighttime. And that was going to be our last hoorah. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? The food. Yeah. <laughs> so my buddy Pete, he, he was, uh, he's like the real estate guy over here in, in the, the village of San Isidro. Him and Paul, 
Paul's the water guy here in, in the village of San Isidro. Um, so Pete did did the pulled pork sandwiches. He did hot dogs wrapped in bacon. He did um, Frito pies. Meow. Talking about food, cat. She likes the. She's coming back for some more of her vittles. Want some more vittles? Huh? I'll put it over here. I'll put it off camera, dude. That's actually dog food, but she likes it. Um. Yeah. So anyhow, so Pete. Did the food, chicharrones, and uh, what else did he have? Um, every, every imaginable. She wants to say hi, guy. She wants to say hi. What's going on here? She's got a cobweb on her. There you go. Is that better? Okay, go on, cat. Um. Yeah, but but Paul did the parfaits. So they're, they're like these elaborate Sunday yogurt fruit and everything delicious uh, so yeah so that was highlights after highlights after highlights so those are all the highlights some of the low lights uh, the wind the wind kicked up on the last day and uh, kind of ruined all my hopes and dreams um, I, I didn't get enough pics I didn't get enough video I didn't get the opportunity to play with as, as many people for as long as I had hoped um, I wish I would have had more time to just hang out and jam. The turnout was uh, maybe a couple hundred if you include everybody from, from beginning to the end. Uh, we did have some last minute cancellations, which was a total bummer. Um, the stage, semi, uh, somewhat I should say, okay, not somewhat, a lot disorganized. We had, I think at one time we had 10 amplifiers on the stage and so, yeah, and plus microphones and um there's a lot to take away, a lot, a lot of key learnings, um, a lot of ideas that worked and a lot of ideas that didn't work. So anyhow, so we're going to take notes. We're going to um, combine all of our stories, get our think tank together, collective, and we're going to make it better for next year. So that's next year, obviously, we'll be more proactive, more proactive -er, earlier on. But the bottom line is, is man, this thing was so much fun seriously the, all, all of the all of the work the preliminary work um jamming you know just hanging out with people e even the teardown was was still fun <laughs> it's like, i'm not done T today th this is almost like the week after this is like friday and there's still some things that haven't we haven't torn down quite quite as of yet um just because uh, i've been doing so many other things um i did want to let everybody know that everybody had fun um everyone said they had a good time uh i'm gonna i'm gonna do a little bit of a slideshow here and do some some video highlights all right so enjoy these slideshows Crazy part. Oh wow. 
Bill Puckett, y'all. <laughs> nothing better than you, Lord. There's nothing better than you, Lord. There's nothing. Nothing is better than you. Oh, my life, I shake it off. 